East meets South in a tale of two fighters, where the world of military aviation thrives on comparisons. Few matchups peak interest like China's Chengdu J-10 and India's Hal Tejas. The J-10, with its lineage tracing back to the Cold War, showcases China's rapid ascent as a military tech powerhouse. In the other corner, the Tejas, India's long-awaited foray into indigenous fighter production, embodies a quest for self-reliance and technological prowess. The J-10, larger and heavier, boasts raw power and a well-established track record. The Tejas, lighter and more agile, relies on maneuverability and cutting-edge tech. So buckle up as we delve into the world of thrust, turn rates and technological wizardry, where the dragon dances with the light combat aircraft. Let's get down to brass tacks, or in this case, titanium and composites. The J-10, in its latest C variant, tips the scales at around 19,000 pounds fully loaded. The Tejas, a lightweight contender, weighs in at a sprightly 17,000 pounds combat ready. The J-10 stretches its wings to an impressive 31 feet, while the Tejas clocks in with a more compact 26-foot wingspan. The J-10, with its larger wing area, excels in high-altitude engagements and possesses impressive range. The Tejas, with its tighter turning radius, is built for nimble, close-quarters combat. The J-10 packs a punch with its Russian-made Saturn AL-31 FN engine, capable of Mach 2.2. The Tejas, powered by a single General Electric F-404 engine, reaches a respectable Mach 1.8. Numbers on paper only tell part of the story. The J-10, with its powerful engine and large fuel capacity, can sustain high speeds and altitudes for extended periods. This allows it to dictate the terms of engagement, choosing when and where to strike. The Tejas, while not as fast or high-flying as the J-10, compensates with its agility and lower radar cross-section. It's designed to exploit gaps in enemy defenses, utilizing its maneuverability to evade attacks and deliver precision strikes. The Tejas's smaller size and composite materials make it stealthier than the J-10, allowing it to operate more effectively in contested airspace. Section 4, Firepower Face-Off, Arming the Dragon and the Light Combat Aircraft. The J-10 boasts 11 hardpoints, capable of carrying a variety of air-to-air, air-to-surface and anti-ship missiles, as well as guided bombs. The Tejas, while carrying a lighter payload, is no slouch in the weapons department. It features eight hardpoints, capable of carrying a mix of short-range and beyond-visual-range air-to-air missiles, laser-guided bombs and anti-ship missiles. The J-10's primary air-to-air -air weapon is the PL-12, a long-range active radar-guided missile with a range of over 60 miles. It also carries the PL-9, a short-range infrared-guided missile for close-in dogfights. For ground attack, the J-10 can be armed with a variety of laser-guided bombs, rockets, and anti-radiation missiles. The Tejas relies on the Astra, a beyond-visual-range air-to-air missile with a range of over 60 miles for long-range engagements, for close-in combat, it carries the Python 5, a highly maneuverable infrared-guided missile. Section 5. Eyes in the Sky. Avionics and the Digital Battlefield. Modern aerial combat is about more than just brute force. It's about situational awareness, electronic warfare, and the ability to process information faster than the enemy. The J-10C boasts a sophisticated pulse Doppler radar system, providing long-range detection and tracking capabilities. The Tejas utilizes an advanced electronically scanned array radar, providing a wider field of view and superior tracking capabilities. The Tejas's cockpit features a single large multifunction display that provides the pilot with all the information they need at a glance. It's like having a smartphone in the sky, providing real-time updates on the tactical situation, enemy positions, and weapon status. Section 6. Dogfight Detente, Cost, Maintenance and the Bigger Picture The J-10, a product of China's vast industrial complex, benefits from economies of scale, making it a relatively affordable fighter jet. The Tejas, being an indigenously developed fighter, comes with a higher price tag. However, 
India views the Tejas program as an investment in its technological self-reliance and a boost to its domestic aerospace industry. Maintenance and operational costs also play a significant role in the long-term viability of any fighter jet. The J-10, with its well-established supply chain and readily available spare parts, is relatively easy and affordable to maintain. The Tejas, being a newer aircraft, might face initial challenges in terms of maintenance and spare parts availability. Ultimately, the J-10 and Tejas represent two different approaches to fighter jet development.